Given population growth, the world will need around 60% more food. How can this be achieved? I think uh, it's important, first of all, to focus on uh, the rate of productivity growth. Um, at the moment, uh, and for the past uh, several years, uh, it, uh, it has been slower than one would want and slower than at early, uh, earlier periods of, of, of history. So it's really important uh, that we recognize that water, uh, land, and biodiversity are finite. We need to use them more efficiently. Uh, and investing much more in uh, research and development, uh, pushing out the technology frontier will improve productivity performance in many countries, while in some, in particular, less developed economies, uh, it's important uh, in the short term uh, to adapt uh, and adopt already available technologies uh, and narrow uh, the current gap between their actual and potential yields. Uh, this too offers significant benefits, uh, as I've mentioned, in the very short term. Is food price reduction the solution to the world's food problem? Absolutely not. Um, uh, food prices are, are a signal uh, of supply and demand situations. Um, many uh, uh, current producers uh, are also uh, amongst the world's hungry uh, in less developed countries. Uh, for them, uh, higher food prices offers uh, more possibility in the long term uh, to improve their income situations. Um, prices matter, uh, and uh, if you are a relatively poor consumer, uh, an increase in price does have an impact. But the fundamental problem uh, around the world uh, in, in, in hunger uh, has to do with poverty uh, and, and incomes that are too low uh, to purchase adequate food uh, at any price. So the, the challenge is poverty reduction. Could you briefly explain how the approach to hunger reduction has changed in Indonesia? In Indonesia, as in many uh, Asian uh, countries, uh, there currently is a significant emphasis on uh, self-sufficiency or what's sometimes referred to as food sovereignty. So there's an interest in producing more of the domestic uh, food requirement uh, domestically. Uh, and that is certainly a part uh, of what needs to happen, but we advocate a much more um, a comprehensive approach to improving uh, food access and food availability uh, in, in, in developing and, and large emerging economies. So domestic production, uh, in particular, uh, production where it can be uh, sustained uh, given the natural resource endowments as well as uh, trade is very important having access to food from the most efficient producers uh, globally uh, and finally um, a, a level of emergency reserve stocks uh, that help to mitigate any seasonal production uh, shortfalls that might occur so food uh, security uh, is best realized through a combination of domestic production, stocks, and trade. Just relying on one uh, is not likely going to be effective.